Hey everyone, just kind of want to give everyone an update on this Glock 19. I did a video a little while back on it. Um, it has a couple additions, um, but yeah, let's kind of jump into it. Uh, a gentleman reached out. I had a, a Salient Arms International uh, barrel in it last time I made a video. A gentleman really wanted that, so I ended up selling that to him and, and switching it out for the Zebtech. One more addition is the RMR here. This is their dual illumination. So, runs off tritium and that fiber optic right up there. Uh, I've found that this is a, it's the RM03 if anyone's curious. Um, I've found that it adjusts to the lighting almost perfectly. I've never had to. Um, I've never been in a situation where it's too bright or, or too dim. It's just always been, it's always worked out just perfect. Where I do have um, the uh, adjustable LED or adjustable brightness one on, um, and I have found that its automatic setting can not be correct all the time. It can, especially if you're shooting uh, in a dark room into a lighter room the the lighting can be a little off on that but this has always worked out really well for me um... i did add this this little magpul magwell it helps reloads even though it's super slim just that little just that little bit really helps on the reloads other than that the gun is the same as it was last time i did the video um, another update is I was having some cycling issues with uh, my suppressor. It just wasn't cycling the gun like at all. I couldn't even get one one round to lock open. Single round in the mag, it wouldn't lock open. Um, so what I noticed was, all right, throw this on the gun. I, I can't show you without it on the gun. So if anyone else is having the same issue where it's short stroking, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it has enough power. I think that I have figured out why. And that is I noticed when it was malfunctioning that the piston couldn't function correctly like it is right now. So what I did was it, I cleaned out the piston system and just put the, sl the smallest amount of oil on there just to kind of get some lubrication going and the gun functioned 100% so that's where I found that out um, so if anyone, if anyone else is having sorry my dog if anyone else is having any issues like that where their gun just is like short stroking jamming up um, not locking open on the last round. Check to make sure that your little booster here is is functioning smoothly because that's counteracting all this weight hanging off the front of the gun and allowing that gun to to cycle properly. Without it, it just jams up and that's that. If anyone else is curious, is new to suppressors, that spring function is the suppressor's way of counteracting all of this extra weight hanging out front since that barrel does it would have to it has to support all that weight that little booster kind of lags the weight there for this half a second it takes to to cycle the gun or less than half a second of course but yeah so if anyone else is having that issue on their pistols not cycling, take a look at that. Um, that's what I found to be the problem on mine. Um, take this guy off again. This is the uh, hybrid. Really like this can. It's a, it's large for pistols, but it can go on any of my guns. So it's a good universal can, especially for anyone looking to get into suppressors. I'll show you. I haven't cleaned this gun in a long time. 
for anyone curious on how dirty the uh, slide slide cuts there, slide windows are. Make your gun. We'll take a look real quick. I carry this quite often, and this has a couple hundred, maybe 300 rounds suppressed through it. And here's the barrel. A little bit dirty, you can see on my fingers, but, but not too terrible at all. The one thing I do clean often, and that you'll find you have to clean a lot, is the glass. Because all that debris just comes right back. That overpressure comes right up into the glass and gets that really dirty. So every 50 rounds or so, I just take a, a Q-tip and, and clean that out. Pop this back in. I like to run on these dual springs. They've got a little slot there. I like to run that up and down. I don't know if, if dust ever did get in there. My thought is that it could fall back out instead of getting stuck in there. So, per personal preference. Um, and then there's the inside suppressor gunk. But really, it's not that dirty. I love Glocks. They stay clean. Um, but yeah, quick little, quick little update on this guy. Not a whole lot's changed couple little minor things it's still running good uh, freedom fighter innovations did all of the work on the gun he's currently not doing doing any orders right now uh, but when he does I'll let you guys know on my Instagram uh, I highly recommend that you you have him work on your gun he I don't know if you guys noticed while this is He polished all of the uh, rails here and some other little miscellaneous metal parts. He just high polished all of those. Not that it's going to make a huge difference, but everyone that grabs this gun, they they say it's the smoothest one they've they've handled. So it I think it does help. Um, he just kind of does that as a little bonus for you. But yeah, thanks for watching, and leave some comments below if you have any questions, and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you.